Hey guys, I'm Brian Tong and this is a first look at the iPhone OS 3.0 software. It's a beta, but Apple says the final release will be available in the summer of 2009, but we wanted to show off what they've been cooking. Now first up, there's copy and paste, and it's used in a few ways across all the key applications. I'm in the email app, and you just have to double tap on a piece of text. You'll see two handles that you can drag to adjust your selection, and then you have the option to cut, copy, or paste it. Now if you want a chunk of text, I'm here at Wikipedia's website, and I'll just hold down it will select that area of text so I can copy it all. Now the copy and paste features work across applications so I can then paste that Wikipedia info in a text message and send it away. Now this is beta so I've seen many examples where the text doesn't grab the chunks you want or behaves a little differently in the different apps. Now another addition is that you can copy and paste multiple pictures from your photo gallery and then send them away. This was a huge request that everyone wanted so I'm glad they put that in. Now multimedia messaging is pretty much standard on every phone and the 3.0 software finally supports that. So you can take a picture, a contact, a voice recording, or even your location and send it via MMS. But it's the beta so your actual MMS won't send right now. You can also delete and forward your messages in the messaging application. Apple's search tool called Spotlight is here and it lives on the iPhone as its own page to the left of your home screen. It searches across the application, so type in something and you'll get results from your contacts, emails, calendars, and songs. And then you just select the one you want and it will take you directly there. It's pretty snappy and I really love this, it's super slick. Now search is also integrated into the individual apps. At the top of mail you can search by sender, receiver, the subject, or the entire message and you'll find it in your calendar, notes, and the iPod. Another feature is landscape mode and it's available in all the key apps so you can use your iPhone or iPod touch horizontally to text message, send email or write notes. In the 2.2 software you can only do this in Safari. Apple has added a voice memo app and the nice thing about this one is you can still make a recording while you're outside of the app and doing other things and you can edit the clip after it's been recorded. Here's some other goodies to know about the 3.0 software as it is right now. There's a feature to find my iPhone and we're guessing that you can use your mobile me to find where your phone is located. You can also set what app your phone goes to when you double click the home button and when you send a text message you can start typing another one as the first one is sending. You couldn't do this before and it was pretty annoying. Now if you hold down on a link in Safari you have the option to open that link in a new page or copy it and the number one feature you guys have been wanting you can shake your phone to shuffle songs. I know, that's really what I love. Now this isn't the final version so it's still a little buggy but it surprised me because it's not too sluggish, at the same time it's not too snappy either and my iPod functionality isn't working at the moment. Overall there are a ton of major improvements and other bells and whistles in the 3.0 software that will be worth waiting for and it'll be a free upgrade for iPhone 3G and first gen iPhone users and a $9.95 upgrade for iPod touch users. I'm Brian Tong with CNET.com with your first look at the iPhone OS 3.0 software. For your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET's Loaded. It's packed full of the latest tech news highlights that matter to you. Find out the latest gadgets or the coolest gizmos. All that and more Monday through Thursday at CNET.com slash Loaded.